हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल बाइकर सोलो है राजीव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीचिंग अबाउट ए इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ जोलॉजी दैट इज ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम एज पर थंबनेल आई विल मेक यू रिमेंबर द 206 वोल्ट रिमेंबर यू जस्ट 15 मिनट्स टू कीप वाचिंग द फुल वीडियो एंड कीप सपोर्ट मी आई विल रिमेंबर यू टू ऑल 206 बोन्स इन 15 मिनट्स सो कम टू द लेसन द फर्स्ट ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम इज ए स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी आवर बॉडी स्टैंड और ऑल ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑल द वर्क्स आर बेस्ड ऑन द ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम द स्केलेटन इज द बेसिक फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द बॉडी तो ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम बिफोर गोइंग टू द स्केलेटल सिस्टम वी ऑल्सो नो दैट वट इज बोन एंड वट इज कैटलेज बिकॉज दीज आर द pillars of this skeletal system without bone we have no skeleton so first we teach about the bone okay then bone it is the hardest substance of the body and it is a it made up of protein that is called osseous protein it is made up of osseous protein and it composed of 70% solid material and 30% that is called protein material okay and the bone are then other system are also found that is called habersian system falcon scanner for that different deeply seated bones like present in the different body parts so bones are also classified into different types that is called spongy bones compact bones and the pneumatic bones and all are these types spongy bone means the bone the present in the tip of the long bone tip of the long bone is called spongy bone and the also in the sharp region of long bone that is called compact bone in case of birds because they are flight animals so for maintaining the buoyancy or for weight losing they have no bone marrow so this is called pneumatic bone okay so this is the formation of bone and now we teach about what is bone cells bone cells means it is called osteocytes the bone cells is called osteocytes and the bone forming cells is called osteoblast reflex the bone cells is called osteocytes bone forming cells is called osteoblast and the bone declining cells it's called osteoclast these three also remember for your exams that is bone cells is called osteocytes bone forming cells is called osteoblast and bone declining cells is called osteoclast remember then come to the cartilage part cartilage is also one and known this is cartilage the substance which stretches or strain it is a elastic structure so cartilage is called it is a elastic structure it provides the flexibility to the body so cartilage means kind of the cartilage is the now <coughs> different type of cartilage also present first we go to the what is the cartilage forming cells cartilage cells this is called how pro for the protein names we study cartilage cells is called chondrocytes it is called chondrocytes cartilage cells chondroblast means cartilage forming cells the protein present in cartilage is called chondrin in fact the protein present is called chondrin this is the basic fundamentals of cartilage okay so different type of cartilage this is called elastic cartilage hyaline cartilage calcified cartilage 
we go to the further video for detail about the bone and cartilage. Now I am going to the human skeletal system. Okay, come to that. The total human skeletal system is divided into two types. One is axial skeletal system. And another is the appendicular skeletal system. It is divided into two types. One is axial skeletal system. And another is the appendicular skeletal system. First we, first we know about the what is axial skeletal system. Axial means the bones which are present in the body's long axis. Body's long axis, those bones are present, this is called axial skeletal system. Appendicular skeleton means the bone which appends to the body, means to join to the body, that is called appendicular skeletal system. So first we are going to the axial skeletal system. Axial skeletal system divided into brain means or it is also called skull but not the right brain it is called skull vertebral column sternum and ribs this included in the axial skeletal system skull vertebral column, sterna and any. Axial skeletal system contains 80 bones. Okay. Axial skeletal system contains 80 bones. Skull contains 29 bones. Okay. We will write it again. Skull contains 29 bones. Vertebral column contains 26 volt, sternum is 1, ribs 12 into 2, because ribs present both side of the chest, inside 12, this side 12, so 12 into 2 that is 24, okay, this is the skeletal system, overview of skeletal system, now we are starting one by one, what is skull, then what is vertebral column, what is sternum and what is ribs. First come to the skull. Skull. This 29 bone also divided into different part. First is called facial bone. So now going to the cranium bone. The total 8 number of cranium bones. We will use an interesting trick to know the cranium bone. This is called OTP shape. OTP shape. O means occipital, T means temporal, P means parietal, S means penoid, E means ethmoid, F means frontal. Occipital 1, temporal 2, parietal 2, spenoid 1, ethmoid 1, frontal 1. Okay, it. This is the cranium bones. Then come to the facial bone. Total 14 number of facial bone. We will use also a tricks. Ma, papa ne, jada, kola, mangai, ghumet ho gaya. Now, Discussing about its maxillary, palatine, nasal, zygomatic, conchai, lacrimal, mandible, and vomoid. The all are two two bones. All are two two bones. And this is one and this is one. Okay, total 14. Maxillary, maxilla, palatine, nasal, zygomatic, conchai. It is also called inferior nasal conchai. Lacrimal, mandible, and humor. Okay, total facial bone complete. Okay. Then come to the ear ossicles. Ear ossicles contain three bones. 
in cost man lease in cost and steps here consist of three wounds man lease in cost step one 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 okay so three into two because we have two years so six one complete and the hired as complete hired apparatus complete single okay it is a complete of score then come to the vertebral column vertebral column consists of two six four we use it tricks c7 t12 l5 s1 c1 cervical vertebra is called seven this is called cervical region then thoracic vertebra is called this is called thoracic region this is called lumbosacral region then sacral region then coccyx region cervical spine or called cervical vertebra thoracic vertebra lumbosacral vertebra sacral vertebra then called coccyx this is called total 26 bones okay understood then come to the ribs ribs is called 12 into 2 ribs content total 24 okay this side 12 this side 12 then now comes to the sternum sternum is single single bones present here this is called sternum so this is the complete of axial skeletal system of 80 bone now come to the appendicular skeletal system Appendicular skeletal system consists, it is of two types, leaves and gradials. Okay, earlier we said 126 more total. Leaves means upper leaves and lower leaves. Gradials means pelvic gradial and pectoral gradial. Okay, it is consist of upper limbs and lower limbs. It is pelvic gradial and pectoral gradial. Now come to the upper limbs. Upper limbs contain 30 bones and this person contains 30 bones and also this person contains 30. Upper limbs 60, lower limbs 60. Now come to the gradients. It is called pelvic gradial, then this is called pectoral gradial. Pelvic gradial contain ilium, ischium, and pubis. The three wounds are joined to form two wounds. Okay? Pectoral gradial contain scapula and clavicle. Scapula 2, clavicle 2. Okay? This is called 120. And this is 6. Okay. Completed 126. Now it is, uh, now I am going to elaborate this. Upper limbs. Upper limbs contain, this is called humerus. Then radius. Then ulna. Humerus, radius. This is called carpels. This come to metacarpals. Then come to phalanges. Humerus 1, radius 1, ulna 1, humerus 1, radius ulna, 1, 1, 2, 3. Then this is come to the carpel. That is 8, metacarpals 5, phalanges 14. Now this is counting this, this is 30. This 30, this 30. Okay, understood? Come to the lower limbs. Lower limbs contain femur, tibio fibula, tarsals. Metatarsals, 
then phalanges femur 1 tibio 1 fibula 1 tarsal contains 7 bones metatarsal 5 and this is 40 it counted into 29 but earlier i said this is the 30 one bone also present this is called kneecap kneecap this is one 30 complete lower limbs upper limbs completed gridis pelvic gridis is called ilium ischium pubis it is jointed to form two bone and pectoral gridis means this two bones beauty bones it is also called beauty bones okay this name is called clavicle and this two side two bones is called scapula okay completed this is 18 of axial skeletal system 126 of appendicular skeletal system okay completed 206 okay guys 206 completed 206 bones present in adult but in case of newborn baby that is 300 bones are present because in case of newborn baby the bones did not fused and many types of cartilage are also present okay completed in my next video, I will explain the different joints. How this one, this one jointed this side. What is the name of this joint? So please guys, keep watching and keep loving. If you are new to my channel, then like, share and subscribe with your friend. And I am going this type of interesting, interesting topic video. I will teach you different type of biological video. If you want to the written note, so please guys, channel, subscribe my channel. I am sending you the written notes. Okay? Keep loving, keep watching and stay tuned. Thank you.